Hey everyone, this is Joe once again and welcome to our channel. In today's video, pag-uusapan natin is all about the Hyundai ADV160 and ang rason kung bakit marami ang nababaliw at interesado na magkaroon ng scooter na ito at kung bakit sa tingin natin ito na yung perfect mid-range all-around scooter for me. Now, unahin natin sa looks niya, of course. Kasi ito yung unang-unang tinitingnan natin. Now, for its look, uh, ang design ng Honda ADV is pretty neat. It is quite aggressive, maangas, pogi, lahat na lang magigandang adjective ang doon. And it is futuristic. And no wonder it is because ang um, kanyang design is inspired by its big brother which is the XADV. And next to that, ang kanyang ilaw is all LED na. And then, meron din siyang adjustable windshield. And yung tires niya is dual uh, sport uh, type, which contributes to its look and making it perfect for city driving and occasional off-roading. Brake disc on its front and rear. And yung instrument panel niya is fully digital at ang suspension niya at the back is Showa. Now, aside from its look, of course, hindi lang puro looks. Importante rin sa ating mga rider ang safety natin at safety ng ating bike. Kaya naman, um, ang pag-uusapan natin next is yung safety feature ng Honda ADP 160. Now, first feature is ito lang yata ang motor na meron ng TV network. Ay, malay. Uh, iba pala yun. <laughs> Alright. So, first feature is yung ABS or anti-lock braking system. Ito yung uh, nasa front wheel ng Honda ADV 160 which essentially, ito ay pre-prevent niya yung paglalak ng yung brake when you do a sudden brake. So, that means to say um, it gonna allow you to steer to safety and essentially of course since um, hindi maglalak yung brake mo it's gonna prevent you your tires from skidding or cement lang. The next one is the HSTC or the Honda Selectable Torque Control. Now this feature can be turned on and off. So ang HSTC is the one is located on your rear wheel. Um, it is Ito naman yung nagre-regulate ng torque at ng uh, valve opening that whenever you are driving on slippery road, it detects kung nag skid na yung rear wheel mo and it controls the torque and valve opening to essentially help prevent the wheel from skidding. The next is yung DRL or the daylight running light which is allows other drivers to see you on the road more visibly which essentially uh, decreases the chances of collision. Now next to that is meron na rin tong um, built-in hazard so uh, if ever you have an emergency on the road um, uh, meron na siyang button to activate the hazard light. Unlike other bikes um, na kailangan pa mag install ng hazard, ito built-in na. And the good thing about the safety feature of this hazard light is if ever na bigla kang nag-brake while on the road, it automatically engages which of course warns those people behind you. Dadagdag na rin natin sa safety feature ang pagiging keyless niya and that is because hindi mo na kailangan maglabas ng susi in order for you to turn on this vehicle. As long as you are within the vicinity and the detect um, ng motor mo, you can turn it on. That also decreases the chance of losing your keys kapag sinasabit o nilalabas natin yung keys. You can just keep it inside your pocket, inside your bag, inside your jacket, and you can still turn on your vehicle or your ADV 160. And the other safety feature that I really like about it is meron na rin siyang 
built-in alarms that you can actually set uh, up to three um, levels. So, hindi mo rin kailangan magpa-install ng alarm um, kasi meron siyang built-in alarm. And to add, meron na rin siyang answer back um, system which is allows you of course to identify kung nasaan yung kung nakalimutan mo kung nasaan ka nagpark or kung marami kang kaparehas na bike you can identify your ADB 160 easily by doing that all right so next kumusta naman yung fuel consumption yung power ng ADB 160 so first let's go uh, talk about the fuel consumption. So, by the way, um, Honda ADV 160 um, has the capacity of 8.1 um, liters of fuel sa gas uh, compartment niya. And yung gas compartment niya, by the way, meron na siyang allotted uh, area where you can put in your gas cup pag nagtapagas ka. That also essentially helps avoid from um, dirt or contaminating your uh, gas cup pag nag-refuel ka. As for the gas consumption naman, I managed to be at 39.4 kilometers per liter um, on one full tank. Uh, I think that will really depends on the situation, on your um, how you ride your bike or your riding style. And I think um, that's gonna be depending on your location, kung anong klaseng terrain or gaano speed when you're using this bike. All right, as for the power naman ng motor na ito, as a first time, coming from a first time owner, um, wala naman akong problema sa power niya. Um, actually, um, we actually tested this on uphill and downhill, uh, downhill climb on my previous video. I would suggest that you watch it. So far, wala akong problema when it comes to sa akyatan or baba or overtaking. I guess, um, considering that four stroke na yung makina niya, it really helps because I've heard from the previous model na medyo nabibitin sila. As for me, wala na akong problema sa ganun. If I need to overtake, hindi na ako nabibitin on my end. Now, as for the compartments naman, um, the underseat compartment, it holds 30 liters. And kung nagtatanong kayo about if ever na nagkakasya ang full face helmet nito, um, technically, uh, I have a Rio RX1 helmet and kasya siya. Ito kasi yung helmet na pwede mong gawing um, half face and then you can convert it into full face. Uh, kasya ang kasya siya. However, yung regular shape na helmet, I think it's, it really depends on the design of the helmet kasi um, yung regular helmet na parang egg, um, kagaya nung puti ko na helmet, uh, the showy helmet that I am using, um, hindi siya nagkakasya, hindi ko masara yung underseat compartment niya. And the good thing about this uh, underseat compartment is if ever na hindi magkasya yung helmet mo, meron na rin siyang built-in na dalawang hook para isabit yung, uh, yung dalawang helmet. And hindi mo na rin kailangan awayin yung uh, upuan mo every time that you open it kasi meron na rin siyang spring to hold it upright. And also, of course, uh, rubber sealed na rin siya. Uh, sa gilid niya. So, if ever na umulan, uh, while you are riding, you don't have to worry about your things inside from getting wet. Meron din siyang side compartment. I don't know if it's a glove compartment, pero meron siyang uh, side compartment wherein you can also uh, put in your uh, balaclava, your shades, your gloves, and inside that, meron na rin siyang a built-in USB charger. Hindi mo na kailangan ng adapter. Um, you can charge on the go just by plugging your mobile devices in there. Alright, so the next topic will be the riding experience. And I don't think I can talk about that here. Um, so let's go ahead and go outside and talk about it. So, tara! Alright, so, andito na tayo uh, sa labas. Ang bilis lang natin kasi nag-teleport lang tayo. Um, when it comes uh, 
to seat height naman. Ang seat height nito is mas mababa na siya as compared to the previous model as far as I know. And my height is 5'6 or 168 centimeters. Now, sasakyan, sasakyan natin. So, for, for a 5'6, uh, tamang-tama lang ang seat height niya. Uh, nakalapat lahat ng pa ako uh, pag nakasapatos ako. And... Pag naka chinelas naman tayo, uh, halfway na tingkayad. So, I think it's going to be perfect for 5'7 pataas na mga height. And, um, riding niya, comfortable naman siya. And if ever na kailangan mong mag uh, long ride, pwede mong iganyan yung paa mo. Pwede ka mag relax relax. So, meron din siyang adjustable uh, windscreen na dalawang modes to adjust. One is the speed mode <laughs> and the other one is the chillax mode joke lang so <laughs> <laughs> all right um windscreen naman i think uh, nakakatulong siya especially in high speed or lalo na pagka gabi maraming mga bugs i noticed na tumatama dito yung bug and tumatalsik siya palayo sa akin instead na papunta siya sa mukha ko so that's really a uh, great help and also syempre dinideflect niya yung air uh, it somehow helps with with the screen uh, going to your straight to your face so medyo uh, relaxing yung ride mo and at the same time um, if ever meron kang mic parang nasishield yung mic natin uh, when on our action camera which helps a lot with the audio now, ito yung uh, digital panel niya. So, pag tinurn on mo, makikita mo yung mga iba-ibang indicators above and below the, the panel itself. And on the panel, makikita mo dito, of course, yung oras, yung tachometer, yung speed, speedometer. Um, even, you can see even see here the temperature outside. At makikita mo na rin dito yung volt. Meron siyang built-in uh, voltmeter. So, ibig sabihin nun, hindi mo na kailangan magpalagay ng voltmeter. You can actually monitor it from the instrument panel itself meron siyang trip meter a and b which you can reset at any time makikita mo rin yung elapsed time niya and also uh, makikita mo dito yung uh, odometer dito mo rin ma to turn off yung hstc and turn it on so napakaganda kasi makikita mo lahat ng almost every information that you need in this instrument panel and and yun din of course yung uh, fuel gauge natin so ayun of course yung handle bar nya is naked as you can see and sobrang gaan nya lang iliku liku actually so mag sobrang ganda niyang iwas iwas maganda rin yung kanyang uh, side side mirror i don't think i wanted to change it kasi sobrang uh, laki nya and nakikita ko talaga yung mga nasa rear side ko when it comes to uh, when it comes to seat naman, um, this comes with a uh, two-tone seat. Dito medyo iba ang finish dito compared dito and hindi siya madulas. And I like the way na meron siyang ganitong curve yeah, kasi while you are driving and lalo na pagka nag accelerate ka, it keeps your butt firm and parang may hulma siya dito so, which is so comfortable hindi naman siya ganun katigas hindi rin siya ganun kalambot alright so ngayon naman guys uh, let's go ahead and subukan natin siya sa real uh, riding experience alright this is a downhill na medyo matirik matarik so try natin ang ating so, wala wala talaga siyang engine brake wag na umasa guys <laughs> ayun so yan um, real life uh, riding experience mapipil mo talaga yung pag piniga mo yung throttle nya na uh, marami pa siyang ibubuga kumbaga actually kumbaga nabibitin pa ako minsan pagka uh, within the city lang ako 
uh, nagda-drive kasi uh, feeling ko ang dali lang ang biyahe as compared nung dating naka uh, Zoomer X tayo um, and when it comes to overtaking um, feel mo alam mo talaga na kayang kaya niya mag-overtake at when it comes to braking power sobrang reliable yung uh, braking power niya kasi uh, this bike has uh, dual brake disc na I mean yung front and rear niya is uh, brake disc na so talagang hindi ka mabibitin when it comes to uh, the braking power so it gives you more confidence uh, in doing that and also kagaya nito pagka tumigil ka at naka on yung I idling stop mo you can off it, turn it off here and turn it on here so ayan automatic siyang uh, namamatay yung engine um, that helps with the fuel consumption as well and konting piga mo lang ng throttle nya is mag on na siya kagaya nyan and then pag uh, naging idle ka naman mag stop na naman ulit siya. so let's continue now, when it comes to curves Sobrang sarap. Actually, ang sarap niyang ihiga, guys. It's just that itong curve na to uh, is pababa. And yung gulong niya is makapit na rin. Ayan, so, ang sarap niyang i-maneuver sa mga sa traffic kasi ang pivot ng kanyang handlebar actually is sobrang wide. It's wider than my uh, Zoomer X actually. At sobrang gaan niya lang ikot-ikot. So, madali siyang i-maneuver. Alright. So, I think that covers everything, guys. Um, thank you so much kung andito ka pa rin sa parte ng video na to. Now, um, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga bagong subscribers. So, ano sa tingin nyo? Maganda ba? Uh, nagbabala ka bang kumuha ng ADV-160? And if you guys have any question or any suggestion, or any topic about ADB 160 na gusto nyong i-tackle natin on our next video, just comment down below. Once again, um, this is Joel, and I'm interested in motorcycle-related contents, travel, and gadgets. If you are interested with that, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.